Hey guys, welcome back to Ganya Farms. I'm Eric and uh, today we got a little bit different video for you. Uh, we had a real busy weekend and we got both the, both our girls are playing softball and we had a tournament all weekend and practices afterwards for the other girls. So, um, and one of the biggest reasons this weekend that we've been real busy, our dog Charlie's sick and uh, we're getting ready to take him into the vet so he needs to he needs to go see something because it's not just a doggy cold or nothing i don't know what's going on exactly but so i'm standing out here at the garden and just kind of looking over things i haven't planted anything here in the raised bed yet i'm going to soon uh, we had a cold snap here where we had some some frost and we need to wait till that's clear so we've got our we got some flowers here that are starting to pop up pretty good and our onions down here i'll take you down here real quick our onions are doing pretty good um they're a little bit dormant yet but like i said we can't really plant anything right now it's just we're in that weird in between weather pattern and i'm afraid that if we put anything in the garden we might get a late freeze here so we'll just hold off it's better to hold off and uh save all our plants so Here's our onions here. I don't know if you can see them very well, but we got garlic's going pretty good. Onions are starting to pop. Our sets are starting to pop. Um, with the roots stout uh, potato bed here, it um, compressed down a little bit. Uh, nothing's popping through. I, I don't expect it to here for a little while yet. And our asparagus is uh, hasn't popped yet either. So with these uh, cold nights and, and I'll Today it's not even supposed to get that warm. I think it's only supposed to be a high of 50. So we're going to, uh, soon here, I think we're going to start trying to get our carrots in the ground. Some of our root crops that we want to get started. Those we could probably start today. I may try to start that if I have time. Just depends on how Charlie's doing with the vet. I'm hoping it's something simple and minor and we can uh, get that resolved real quick. But he's feeling pretty dumpy. He's been uh, been throwing up a lot and and just not acting as normal self. So we got lots of things coming up here for you in the in the very near future. We're gonna start really hitting that garden hard here. Um, I've got a I got some wood that I want to put up a, a gate so we don't have to try to climb through. You know, open up the fencing every time. So I'm gonna make a gate for the garden fence and for the chicken fence. And that's going to help us maneuver a little bit out there. Also, wanting to put up some kind of um, some kind of area where we can hang our garden tools. Right now, I just I've got them inside in the barn, and they just take up a lot of room in there. So, if you guys got any uh, cool pictures or links or anything to, you know, maybe a, a neat little garden tool area or something, um, you know, throw them in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, looking for something cool. I didn't want something just, you know, I don't want just a two by four with some hooks on it or anything out there. So our chickens are doing good. We actually, you guys might know Pecker from our previous videos. He was our rooster that um, was very aggressive. And I think it was uh, one night late last week, we came home and we could tell something had attacked him or one of the other chickens attacked him he he wasn't looking good he was kind of limping and i know i've seen hawks come down in here before and land in the trees and he would scare them off so i'm guessing he was protecting his flock and met a bigger bird that he couldn't handle anyways he we ended up I, he was outside the gate i was trying to get him inside he and it was almost dark he wandered off into the woods i could not find him so i figured all right we'll let him set and I came back the next day and he was gone. So there was, um, I found some feathers. So I'm guessing something got him through the night. They probably, probably smell him out, you know. If he was bleeding or something that, uh, something got him, probably a coyote or something. It looked like he got drug off. So that's unfortunate that we, that we lost our, you know, big protecting rooster. But, um, he was he was getting really aggressive to me and Candace every time we'd go in there and and try to feed the chickens and so we were trying to come up with something to do with him anyways we don't like you know 
killing any of, any of our animals that we you know we're wanting to keep around but we've got five roosters in here and i think that's just a little bit too much so um hopefully we'll keep these guys intact the other roosters are getting they're a little bit more aggressive but they're not like not like the other one at all so they they seem to protect good but they don't really bother us too much when we go in there and that's it's more enjoyable for us to go into the coop and and kind of hang out we actually go in there and, and hang out with our chickens quite a bit it's a little bit weird i know but um i know candace and the, the kids have fun doing that so so that's the big pecker mystery oh here i'll show you guys i'll show you guys here what i'm talking about with this gate so right here on my fence i just got this this fencing wrapped around you probably see it in one of our other videos i'll i'll link up here um so this gate just kind of wraps around right here and i want to i got some posts i'm going to put a, a a post here and a, a post over here and then make a bigger door but right here this this netting that we've got for our chickens to not get in the garden it it's been working great so far but every time you open this gate right here to go in you hit your head on the on the netting and that's annoying so so quick uh maple syrup update for you too um i know i didn't do a you know a whole wrap-up video this year um i didn't think it was really pertinent this year uh but we ended up getting let's see we got 300 gallons of sap which was it's quite a bit lower than I was expecting. Uh, we, we only ended up with about 55 or 60 buckets or 60 taps that we put out. We were trying to go for 100, but there was no way this year that we could, um, we could actually process that much unless I took off a lot of time from work. And we've been kind of busy there, so I haven't been able to do that. Um, so we ended up with 300 gallons of sap. Uh, I think we had five gallons of syrup that we made off of it and the syrup quality was great and our new vacuum filter press that we got was excellent the it took out so much of the niter the sugar sand in there uh it was crazy it, it was just it was the clearest um clearest syrup we've ever made and and we package our syrup in glass bottles and you can really see that and i don't like to put out a product where you know it, it, the sugar sand and the niters completely edible there's nothing wrong with it it's all natural organic um but it just it looks kind of weird in a glass bottle and i think that's why a lot of people use the plastic bottles because then you don't even you know the customer doesn't even see it so we're we're doing this syrup to to sell we you know keep enough for ourselves for the year and then we sell our extra off or trade it we barter a little bit with it um we give some away to family and friends too so uh but yeah, we had, uh, like I said, we had about five gallons and that was really good. We were, we were happy to get our five gallons of syrup this year. Um, I'm hoping for more next year, but we'll just have to see, you know, the weather this year really didn't, uh, really didn't help us. Uh, it, it got warm in at times and, um, we didn't have really big runs. We met, I think we had two two big runs and that was it and then it was done it, it pretty much started late and ended early there was about a maybe a three week window where we were collecting sap and uh so that was uh you can't really do anything about the weather that's you just have to kind of go with that so so that's our uh that's our syrup up oh got a hand that wanted to go eat some bugs so so thanks for uh, hanging out with us, guys. Uh, we really appreciate everybody joining us here at Ganya Farms. This is a real busy time of year for us. And um, we enjoy all the interaction we get with everybody. And we hope you guys stick around. We got lots of things coming up. We got lots of things in the works here that uh, we're gonna be doing. Um, I think we're getting a few more farm animals coming up here in the very near future. We've got meat chickens. I think it'll be arriving next week uh, so I would look for a video on that and we are gonna actually try to incubate some chicks some um, some new laying hens this year I don't know how many 
Um, I don't want to put a whole lot more uh, hens in our coop, but I think we can add a few more, maybe maybe 10 or so is what I'm guessing. So look for uh, look for some incubating videos. That's something that we've never done before here on, on Ganya Farms either. So it'll be a learning experience. And if you guys got any uh, tips and tricks with that, I'd be happy to, to hear about them. So like I said, guys, sorry about the uh, impromptu video today, but you know, real life gets in the way and some things are more important. You know, trying to get our dog healthy it's very important to us he's a big part of our family here and uh, we want to make sure that he's he's okay and you know things with uh things with the kids kind of um take precedent over youtube sometimes you know so we really like hanging out with them and and helping them out um with their school and sports activities and things like that so that's what we've been doing big crazy weekend oh we did uh when we got home last night, we did end up potting up our tomato plants. So we potted up a hundred and, well, I had planted 140. I don't think we actually potted up 140. I think it was probably closer to 120, I would say. Uh, we, we grew Romas, San Marzanos, uh, some Easy Sauce Hybrid uh, tomatoes, like kind of like a hybrid paste tomato, and jelly beans that was uh one of the ones so that uh the jelly beans is a uh just a cherry tomato so i i think they're uh an earlier season cherry tomato so we're gonna try that we got those potted up i didn't really film that last night we were trying to knock it out we kind of had an assembly line with um uh me and and Sophie and Candace, we kind of just knocked it out quick and it went good. Um, I tell you what, I need some more racks though because trying to find spots for all of the the up potting, you know, you take a, a small cell and then you put it in a four inch pot and it takes up a lot of room real quick. So we got tables in our kitchen right now that are just filled with up potted tomato plants. So hoping that uh, maybe Maybe next weekend we can get those planted in the garden. Uh, if not, they can set for, for the week and maybe maybe we'll hit it through the, the following week. We can you know, try to get them in the garden, in the ground here. We really w wanna watch that late freeze here. We get it in Michigan all the time. Uh, last year, right about the middle of May, we had some major flooding around here. And if I had planted all those tomato plants or in our garden, um, they probably would have been washed right out. We're up high here. We didn't have any flooding here at the house, but um, I think we had something crazy like four or five inches of rain, and we're just not really equipped for that. So <laughs> I don't think anybody is for five inches of rain in, in a day or two days or something. Well, hey, thanks again, guys. Really appreciate you hanging with us. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. It really helps us out here and uh, any kind of comment it's appreciated hey guys hit that uh hit that thumbs up here too and click that bell for notifications so you know when our next video is going to post uh we've been posting on sundays and we're going to continue to do so so hey thanks again i'll leave you guys be you have a happy sunday and thanks for hanging with us here at Ganya farms we'll catch you on the next one